It's finally complete. Mellow 1.5 is here. We partnered with some of the titans of mushrooms. It started with Tony from Fresh Cap and then Aliyah from North Sport. And a huge thanks to Kyle Gabriel who made my Kodo. But now we have even more people joining the council. You guys remember my friend Danny. He came up with the original idea for the Mela, and from that, we created the Mela 1.0. We sent that unit over to Tony at Fresh Cap, and we got a bunch of great feedback from him and from you guys. So we took that feedback to heart, and we improved on it and created the Mela 1.5. One of the things that you guys pointed out was that version 1.0 was just a little too small. So for version 1.5, we decided to scale it up by about 30%. That way it's not too large, but you can still fit between two and four fruiting blocks inside. Another great addition to this unit was the side water tank. In version 1.0, you had to open the door, which would let all of your humidity out, and you had to refill your water in there every one to two days. For this unit, we had the water tank accessible from the side, so you could simply unscrew it, fill it from the faucet, and then place it back on its water base. This water tank has about seven days of water capacity, which keeps the unit much more low maintenance. This unit has Wi-Fi built in, so you can directly connect to your unit and monitor your grow conditions. You can see and monitor your temperature and also control your humidity, fresh air exchange, and the amount of light your mushrooms are receiving. With this unit, you can directly plug in all of your inputs and outputs right into the side of the control, and then simply hang the control off the back of the unit. It's pretty cool, right? <laughs> <laughs> Over the last few weeks, we've been refining our production process and building up these 10 units. We got so much great feedback with version 1.0, we're hoping to get 10x the feedback with these units that we're going to send out to the Council of Mela. These people and companies are going to be doing their own grows and giving us their feedback so we can make the best possible unit that we can. A couple of these 10 units are going to go out to community members just like you. That way you can get your hands on the 1.5 and be a part of the co-creation process. Co-creation. We love co-creation here at First Build. So we decided to have somebody from the community beta test one of the version 1.5 Mellas that we're making right now. We had 412 applicants. I read through every single application. Every single one. We had all sorts of fungi fanatics apply to beta test Mela. We had doctors, we had painters, farmers, gardeners, veterans, the CEO of a cybersecurity company. Everybody's trying to get in on this, and we're taking Mela coast to coast. Now let's go check out some of these applicants. Last summer, got like very into learning about mushrooms. Um, and my four-year-old, like, she loves, loves mushrooms, loves growing, like, she, and she's adorable. I'm the lighthouse keeper here on the Northwest Coast of Vancouver Island, British Columbia, Canada. I'm interested in Amela, probably more because of the fact that I love to cook, I love mushrooms, and uh, I don't like having to spend enormous amounts of money for mushrooms out of the store, which is why I want to grow my own. And my interest in uh, what y'all are doing has to do with some of our biohacking, biomaterials. We're doing some stuff in fermentation science, so we're doing, so we're nibbling into bio and um, doing some mycelium packaging kind of things and sort of a lot of the things that other folks are doing. Version 1.5, it's already here. In 2.0, it's just around the corner. And when that happens, it's gonna be time for a crowdfund and then launch. So make sure you guys stay tuned for all of the new updates so you too can join the Council of Mela.